Alright, last time on Met Let's Play Metroid Prime, we got through, we got all the items, we got, or we beat Meta Ridley, I can't speak still, and we came to Impact Crater, and today we're going to finish out the game. These are Lumigex, they're very weird, and you only see them in this specific room. Uh, they're phazon induced reptiles, so it's a good place to get to your last pickups like power bombs and stuff. On the way, you, I, there was a save station I can't speak today, jeez. Uh, there was a save station I just used right there, and there's a missile station in this room, so. Uh, this place is filled to the brim with ugly Phazon crap and a lot of Fission Metroid, so you're gonna wanna watch out for them. I just run away from them, generally. <coughs> I don't bother killing them, because they, they take too long to kill them. By the time you kill one, another one pops up in its place, so. Yeah, I just usually ignore them. So basically, you just have to keep climbing up the room, and I don't need any missiles, so I'm just gonna skip the missile station room. Uh, yeah, usually a Metroid comes careening around this corner, and it's really stupid. Ah, uh, I can't. Damn it! I'm just gonna want to kill him. Don't want to try fighting him because it just takes way too long. Um, final boss is pretty easy, uh, yeah, it's not, nothing too difficult, but it's still kind of long and epic, so. Alright, um, this is the last real room of the game, and it is a spider ball puzzle. Uh, yeah, all you really have to do is, yeah, even if you fall on the face on, you can, like, I... Well, I was going to say I didn't take any damage, but I retardedly hit C instead of Z to get up, so. Anyway, we're here we are in Sun Chamber. Not Sun Chamber. Wait, what? I thought it was called Sun Chamber. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll just watch the giant spider thingy uncoil. It is a freaky looking thing. This is Metroid Prime, and this is the final, the final boss battle of the game. So... Alright, we're in Phazon and Fusion Chamber. I knew it was something chamber. So... We have to go in charging at him, and this is the start of the real boss fight. First of all, let me check the name of the room due to my curiosity. Sub Chamber. Okay. So this is Metroid Prime. Uh, Metroid Prime, how they evolve, face one. Okay. Basically, you can only hit him with whatever color beam, or whatever color beam his face is. Any other beam won't work, so usually I just use the missile combo, unless it's plasma beam, in which case I just stick to charge plasma beam shots. Yeah, hit him a few more times and he'll get stunned. When he gets stunned like that and starts flashing red, uh, whoa! I thought after, oh, maybe it's after two. Uh, damn it! The super missile actually hit me. Oh, come on! Hit the dang thing! Why is it not working? I can't hit him if it's not hitting it. I can't hit him if he keeps moving his face out of the way. There we go. Jeez. Now we should go into the next room. This boss shouldn't give me a whole lot of trouble. Uh, it's just kind of annoying sometimes. Alright. Now we've got Ice Beam. Usually I just use the Ice Spreader against him. If it'll even hit this time, I don't know what's up with that. Okay, it hit. Hit those palms, too. And when he does that now, you have to get into this hole to avoid him charging. And strangely enough, even if you're facing the other way, if you get out of more fall, you'll always be facing him. I don't get why this is, but somebody does. Anyway, just wave buster. Yeah. Figured that the collateral damage would help there. Or not collateral, but like continuing. And what do we got now? Power beam again. Cool. Except I'm kind of worried about super- Ooh! Uh, dealie boppers. Ah, crap. Well, I uh, still have to kill the dealie bop- No. It's an auto cutscene that you kind of go in through. Uh, he just fired out those two little balls, uh, I call them dealie boppers for some reason, I don't really know why. Ah, grapple beam. Boost away. Even if you boost toward him, uh, you'll get rid of him. 
And we still got Ice Beam. Uh, yes. I love that. It's an instant stun. It's one of the also one of the only situation where situations where the ice spreader is useful. Flamethrower had its applications. Uh, well, not very many even because it was found so late in the game. And Jesus, I just got bombarded by those things. You would just tr make your face inactive to grapple me while I'm firing a super missile. That was really gay. There we go. Hate those bombs. Mainly because I suck at dodging them. Um, what, what are you next? Oh, also, interestingly enough, uh, firing, uh, well, yeah, he has those lasers, and each, well, every time he uses the laser, it depends on what beam he's using, it has a different function, basically, or different power. Uh, if it's power beam, it just does more damage than the regular beam, I think. Ice beam, it freezes you, you have to tap B to get out. Wave beam disrupts your visor, HUD, and everything, and, uh, Plasma burns you for like additional damage. All right, dealy boppers, let's take care of these things. Uh, these things are the only your only way of recharging missiles and lost energy in this fight. So, and if you were thinking about damaging them with a power bomb, you're gonna want to save your power bombs till the second like part of the fight. I really need to get out of plasma beam. Always use the wave buster for when he's in wave beam because it auto locks on anyway. Alright, let's take care of these. Oh, jeez. Thank God for the manual aim. Whoa, wait. I didn't even hit him, did I? What happened? <coughs> don't know, don't care. Alright, this is the final sub chamber. Uh, when he's down to about a third or a quarter of health. Eh. All right, uh, wave beam. Oh, and this this time he'll just kind of switch whenever he feels like it. I haven't I've practiced this boss a few times, and I didn't really find much trouble with that. I'll deal with the dealy bobbers. Oh God! Stop with your freaking laser. Uh, I'm not really talking about much of the end of the game because I know it's gonna be. I, I've loved this game ever since I was a young child, I guess, and I'm just, ex I guess it's just kind of bittersweet that I'm finally finishing it out today. Uh, Jesus Christ. He gets more accurate with his lasers, and he uses them a lot more, too. Well, the first form of Metroid Prime's almost gone. Oh, boy. Alright, he's waving again. Not a whole lot of ice or plasma. He's just been going through wave and power so far. I mean, the boss fight's almost over. Okay, you can stop using your... You move, you move, you move. Okay, not gonna... Uh, stupid Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, why is it always power? It, see, it switches randomly. It's always between power and wave for some reason. God. I got hit again? How? I can't lock onto him to stray. He's just wasting time and my energy. And you won't need missiles in the... Uh, fight against the second form of Metroid Prime, so you're good. Alright, I'm aware that I didn't get 100% of scans, but that's okay to me. Couldn't really, I could really care less. And here's the true final boss, I guess.